fun fact about me, I love talking about Blackpink. You guys might know since back in my How Would Sing era, I used to make videos with them all the time. They're just my comfort group, and sometimes, I just wonder, why is YG holding them back? Ever since their debut, Blackpink, have been limited to zero effort projects, used only as YG's money cow. They release one mediocre project every century and let their fans do all the work streaming and promoting. They used to say it's because they prefer quality over quantity, but right now, even the quality is missing, so I decided to change that. I walked into YG's office and I kicked him out and I said fuck you goodbye and took over YG. Well, not really. But what I did was remake Blackpink's entire career, expanding their discography and making them a better career plan. I decided to follow the standard for Western artists since the Western market was always Blackpink's goal. That means I gave them a full album every two years, which is what YG did but I'll do it better so get your hopes up. Now I'll go through every year in their career and change things up. You are more than free to join me as we start our journey from 2016. For 2016, I would change absolutely nothing. I think this year was perfect. The debut idea was awesome. The music was good. The stage presence was there. The winds were there. The gag was there. Blackpink was literally in every area and they were thriving in all of them. Snatch the third generation queen title with four songs, a huge budget and a vision. The only thing I want to talk about is award shows and end of the year festivals. Because Blackpink have been snubbing them quite a lot throughout their career and I'll change. That. The new award show attendance rule for Blackpink is if Blackpink wins then Blackpink attends. And if Blackpink attends then they give you a 10 minute Super Bowl halftime worthy show calling. You talentless in every aspect, as for Gay Adagian and the rest alike. We're attending all of them. And I'm making sure I get the Jenny X Nay on X Irene stage I deserve. Boom, bye, yeah. Yeah, 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 boom, bye, yeah. We're already in Blackpink's second year and how much do we have? For songs, sounds about right. This year is an important year for Blackpink's career as their rookie era. As I call it will end with its final part. The third single album called Square 3 will be released in June. I changed the title from As If It's Your Last to Square 3 because I want it to be the continuation to their previous releases, like Squares 1 and 2. This album will have two songs and they both will get music videos. For the second track, I added a song that I wanted it to sound like so you guys get an idea. That will be the only release you guys will get this year ha ha I know how to starve a fandom too. Blackpink have better things to do this year anyway. The better things being surviving in a mansion and re-recording their oh so many songs in Japanese. One thing me and YG might have in common is the fact we gave Blackpink 6 songs over the course of 2 years. But I always keep my promises, and I promised a full album. So here it is, in my version of Blackpink. Their first full album would be Square Up and it would have 8 tracks, 7 songs and the remix of DDU Do. The songs of the album are all actually besides from their first two mini albums. The album would be released in June 15th along with the music video for DDU Do. I also decided to promote other songs as singles with their own music videos. 
So a Forever Young music video would be released in August and a See You Later one in October. At the end of the year they would still start their first world tour, and at some point throughout the year their collaboration with Dua Lipa would be released. If you really, really love me, mad at you. Now I've seen how to do, but you still want to go really. Okay, 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 more than get back to get money. Don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'll kick it if you're down, kick it if you're down. Can I kick it? The world tour is more than enough to keep the whole group busy this year, but I'm not letting Square Up just pass like that, so I decided to repackage it and call it Square Up, Kill This Love. This version of the album would include the 8 tracks of Square Up that I mentioned, plus a new title, Kill This Love, and Kiss and Make Up as a bonus track. Let's kill this love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of you might have noticed I didn't talk about Jenny's solo last year. Truth is, I decided to postpone it until the album promotions are over, and it's time to present to you the first Blackpink solo debut. Jenny's solo would be released just like it was in 2018. Just a year later, including all the different promotions she did for it. We kick off this year with the not-so-long-awaited Rose solo debut. I moved it earlier because I didn't want its promotions to collide with Blackpink's second album. Rose's debut would happen exactly how it happened in real life. Even though I'm giving all the other girls one song for their solo projects, I kept both tracks for Rose since she has one extra solo song I didn't know what to do with. Everything I need is on the True, I can feel the pain in you. You had to be the one to let me down. After promotions for our over, Blackpink would release their second album, the album. Exactly how it happened in real life because that era was the peak of being a blink. The only change I made was adding Ready for Love to this album, because it matches this album way more than it does Born Pink.
Welcome to the first and definitely not the last year of no new music releases from Blackpink. But don't you worry. No Blink is getting starved on my watch, first of all. 24 365 with Blackpink will not end in 2020 and will be playing all year round. Secondly, the show will happen in January and Crazy Overuse live version will be released on YouTube, serving as its music video. In summer, the 4 plus 1 project will happen, but not as lazy as YG did it. My 4 plus 1 gifts will be a pretty savage music video. Blackpink the virtual on pub and ready for love music video, a live band edition of the album. A special photo book and an anniversary live with performances where Lisa's solo debut will be. Announced as a surprise gift. Lisa will debut with La Lisa on September of 2021 and the promotions she had in real life. First thing in the year I'm giving Jisoo a solo. The wait was long enough. We don't need to wait an eternity for Flower. It would be released in March of 2023 with all the needed promotions. <laughs> Now comes the biggest challenge I took on this video, actually fixing Born Pink. Born Pink is arguably Blackpink's worst release. It tries to do so much and fails to focus on any of them. Like, why are we doing punk rock now? Why is Rose getting a solo in the middle of the album? Why is Becca Boom still in the studio? So many questions. I didn't want to change the album's track so what I did was change up the order. Add more songs and give every girl a solo. I'm pretty proud of the result like is this the best Blackpink era incoming, yes it is. Also, I tried to fix this era feeling rushed and lazy by having Pink Venom's release in July instead of August, Shutdown would be released in September along with the rest of the album, and a music video for Type of Girl would come at November. Blackpink would also go on their Born Pink tour, for which they would have prepared much longer, and we would have done something for Jenny's. Lackluster performances Jenny I still love you so much I promise. Here is the new tracklist I made. I bring the pain like
Last year, Blackpink was fully booked with their huge world tour and Coachella, so I'm not planning any new releases from them apart from Blackpink the game, to be honest. I don't think it's really all that necessary but it's a cute little cash grab so I'll keep it. Instead of new music, I'd promote some Born Pink tracks as singles with new music videos. I'd start with I Did Something Bad on February, then, the girls would each have their solo music videos in this order, All Eyes On Me in June, Hard To Love in July. You and me in September and money in October. And that was all 7 years in Blackpink's contract. I hope you guys found this video fun and my ideas didn't sound stupid. I could make a part to like directing their solo careers or something like that. Or maybe how Blackpink could continue after 2023. Let me know what you guys think. I'll see you in a 1000 years or whenever else I decide to pass her again. Take care. Bye.